What's going on, YouTube? I'm out here at the car doing a little tuning, doing a little tweaking around the side. I share some stuff. Well, I share something with you that some of you may know and may not know. You ever notice how when you use your, when you try to adjust your line pressure on your transmission, that little thing right here, you notice how you adjust that sometimes. And uh, sometimes when you go to pull your throttle back, this thing comes this way. And uh, sometimes it pulls out. It doesn't hold good line pressure. Uh, sometimes your shift's not as snappy when you go to hit that accelerator to get your kick down cable to kick in. Well, a guy showed me a little trick at this transmission shop to hold this thing right here in place because sometimes if this thing here it'll pull out and if it pulls out it'll actually burn your transmission up because if it's not getting good line positive you know getting good line pressure it won't give you positive shifts and what it'll do it'll actually like you said burn it up anyway this is what you do I don't know if you can see it you might can't if I can get that back there. Let's see if you can see behind here. Okay, right there. See a little metal piece right there? What that is, it's actually It's one of these. It's one of those metal clips. And what it does, what you do, you take this little piece here and you hook it on the back of that line back there. Tighten those two bolts down and it holds the sucker in place whenever you uh, get ready to shift. Some of those, some of those TV cables or detent cables, they tend to they tend to pull out sometimes. You know what I mean? When you go to pull, you see how you pull it? It stays in place. I'm gonna show you that again. Cause some of us have 700 R fours on our transmission, and some of us don't, you know, have the money to spend to get one of the most expensive ones. But see, when you go to pull it, sometimes. This thing right here will pull way out here. But when you hook that thing up behind there, which is this piece right here, then uh, it'll hold, it'll stay in place and it'll give you good line pressure. And you can adjust accordingly. But it's easy to do. All you do is take this little piece, slide around that holes on the back side, tighten it down, and you're good to go. Anyway, but that's my little tidbit for the day. But, like I said, you know, it's easy to do. Uh, like I said, uh, I didn't want to spend the money on those more, those more expensive ones. But like I said, as long as you hook it up back behind here, tighten that thing down, you're good. And if you need to adjust it, loosen up them two screws. And you can readjust it and pull it out and tailor it according to how you want to shift. I got mine set up to where when I put my foot in it, that sucker kicks in real hard. It actually barks the tires, but it still shifts fairly decent. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and probably readjust it in the morning. Uh, second gear kicks in pretty good, but it's not as firm as I want it to be. But it definitely barks the tires from like 10 mile an hour. You, I go to nail it and it spin the tire a little bit. Anyway, that's my little old tip for this week or whatever. But if you want to know exactly what it is, you can go to any hardware store and you can get this thing right here. It's, it's some thimble clips. This is where you use to tie down uh, metal straps and you bolt it. But that's a little simple. Little. This cost me like two bucks at Walmart. But uh, I've had that TV cable hooked up like that for six, seven months and had no problem with it still shifting or that little thing pulling out so 
It's a pretty good tip. Anyway, y'all be cool. Peace.